So in today's video, I am going to do a review of this my Omo counter chop air fryer oven and food dehydrator. As you can see it does look uh, quite big so the capacity of this is 17 plus quarts and this is 1800 watt so let's go into the detail and talk about the parts and accessories first of all it does have the suction legs on the bottom so it's not easy to move as you can see it stick to your countertop very nice It comes with two wire racks and as you can see they are not completely flat they has a little dip so it's nice like a basket so the food doesn't come out easily if you shake it so this are looks good quality nice and one non-stick drip tray looks like a non-stick but all this you can put in a dishwasher these are dishwasher safe it also come with one mesh rotating basket as you can see and it's a pretty good size holds on the side and uh, this opens just like this so it has a wide opening as well so this is good so next we have is this rotisserie shaft like a metal thing that goes in the middle and then it comes with two skewer racks so this goes into the center and this on the side the circles goes on the side i will show you in a few minutes and then this is fetch tool or handle to take it out rotisserie so that in the skewers so one two three four five six seven eight skewers just good enough so this goes like this and you can do like a length small or bigger and then you just secure this with this two tiny screws comes with the screw you just insert it and it will be nicely secure in the place and then just to use clear there is on one side there is uh, holes so you the top part of skewer balls you slide in and then you just on the other side there is a wide part so you just lock your skewers in so like this if you can see it so when you plug in you will see this three sign one for light one for power and this one for rotisserie let's check the light so once you press that you're able to see nice light inside and i'm gonna open it and show you it's nice and spacious from inside press this once power button so there are some presets buttons here already these are the temperature up and down button here are the timer up and down button this is time and the um, temperature display then the preset buttons include fries, steak, fish, shrimp. Into this menu, they have provided the cooking preset and the internal temperatures, as you can see here. Today, I'm going to do a very simple and quick recipe, but in the future, you will see me using this a lot. So today, I am just going to do a fries into this basket and see how that works. Let me just clean all my tools 
and accessories and we'll be right back. So here I have my basket ready. I just screwed this both side here. So this is nice and tight now. And now what I'm going to do is just put the fries in. So I have some frozen fries that I'm using. Just gonna add into this basket. That's it. Now close this. nicely secure and now I'm just gonna put this in now one thing you have to worry when you're installing this inside is this side with the bigger longer square goes on the left side and this design goes on the right Just like this this goes in first and then you drop this into this hook so that way is nice and secure I'm going to use this drip tape or in case so let's close here they have given us this thin frozen fries needed uh, the this is the amount and the time 15 to 60 minutes at 450 Fahrenheit I have pressed this preset fries button and it gave me 400 degree Fahrenheit temperature for 20 minutes. Well, yeah, like that. So I need just 15 minutes. I'm going to lower the timer to 15 and then give it a go. Let's turn the light on so you can see. So one thing I learned about it, if you don't press this, it will not rotate. So this and now it started rotating just finished cooking and the light has a timer i think for five minutes so after five minutes it will shut off by itself so you have to turn it on each time you need it it's open with the help of this handle i'm gonna take this trip tray so it has collect all the mess that I can clean easily you, you can hear that wow wow I'm really impressed you can hear it it's nice and crispy and as you can see it has evenly even color thanks for watching this video and if you want to support to my channel then make sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch all other videos listed right here and like this video and share this video with your friends and family i'll see you in my next video till then bye bye